Hi, I'm Jennifer Halliday and I'm the Assistant Director of the Middle School. Insights Week is an opportunity for our middle school students, grades 6 through 8, to explore a course that they're very passionate about in a, in a different sort of timing. They return from winter break um, to a week of an intensive course that they choose and the courses are mixed, grades 6, 7, and 8. And the topics range from anything from black leadership in Cleveland to uh, learning the history and the importance and significance of bread making to um, ornithology. So the students really get to choose something that they have a passion and an interest in. Hey, Hawkins, how you doing? Good morning, Hawkins. class for you today called Taking Care of Business, yeah. a rock band finance simulation where you guys are going to be a Hawkins band. You guys are going to go on tour and you're going to have to make some very important financial decisions as you cruise forward. I'm Tim Desmond. I'm the instructional technologist for the Hawkins School. My insights course is called Why Does Cleveland Rock? And students come down and spend three days at the Rock Hall and they do research in the exhibits on an artist or a genre or an era of music of interest. And they then take that research and they interview members of the education department here at the Rock Hall. And they end the week by compiling a five to seven minute documentary film on their particular topic. So they get some hands-on, real-world experience in going to an exhibit and doing research and also creating a video project, which is uh, more daunting than it appears to be on the surface. was a guy that just sat in a cubicle, didn't even have a title, uh, did a lot of work, but uh, just kind of a, a guy starting out here when I first came here 19, 20 years ago. Now I'm the team president, so now I'm in charge of overseeing both the baseball side and the business side. Uh, I've just kind of taken the approach in my life that, you know, if you do things well, opportunities will continue to present themselves. You don't get too focused on, you know, where you're going, on how fast you get there but you focus on what you're doing and doing it well, and that creates opportunities for you. And that's kind of the approach I've taken uh, in school, you know, do the best I can in school, so I have more options for college, do the best I can in college, so I have more options for jobs. Once I got in a job, do the best I can in my job, so I continue to have options to move up and advance or take different jobs. My name is Eric yeah, I'm the eighth grade math teacher. I'm also a Hawking alum, class of 1986. Uh, I ran, me and, Dan Walton, and who's also an alum, and Bob Rodriguez ran a course this uh, past week called Careers in Athletics uh, to expose the kids to possible careers that are not involved with playing um, and start looking at the other side of athletics and, and how the opportunities are there for them to stay active in athletics. And talking with the kids, it was obvious to them. The, the theme of just about everybody's speech, it was amazing not planned out at all by us, was to find something that you're passionate about. Not only being passionate about what you're working in, but also enjoying who you're working with um, and how important that is. So even though the, the week was about careers in athletics, uh, I think the kids took out of it the, the bigger picture of what they should be looking for when they start thinking about careers. Hello, I'm Matthew Young. I teach seventh grade at Hawkins School. And um, this is our group of Winter's Lens um, students participating in our Insights class, which is called Winter's Lens, a snapshot of the survivalists. And what we do, I co-teach this with Aaron Thomas, um, the art teacher in our middle school. And we spend the week exploring how plants and animals survive and cope with winter. And then we document that using um, aesthetically using digital cameras. This is Lake Erie. We've come here on our last morning um, to shoot pictures. We started off the week uh, with a um, kind of a crash course in digital photography, how to make our cameras work, what the different buttons do. This afternoon we go home and we're going to um, start working on uh, selecting which our best photos are. Kids are probably taking between four and eight hundred pictures over the week. They'll come tomorrow with uh, their kind of 25 to 30 best prints and just their favorite for a critique with a local photographer and we'll do a group critique and then the students will spend the afternoon um, putting together a portfolio which will have printed either using Snapfish or Shutterfly and they'll get a photographic portfolio book as a result of the week. So that's what we're doing. I'm Lynn Petkovic. I teach sixth grade history slash humanities in the middle school. 
This week, William Hyde and I have been teaching A Crust Above, which is our insight course on the history, math, and science of bread baking. Let's see, they've learned a lot about history. They've had to do their own project on a certain aspect of history of bread. They've learned the math of professional baker's yields, which is the percentage of all ingredients in a ratio to the amount of flour used. So that's incredible. Yeah, they've learned how to, how to bake a <laughs> loaf of bread from scratch. Um, using Baker's formulas and this morning they did it all on their own. It's absolutely amazing the progress and how far they've come. They really can. That's the thing is they could go home right now and look at almost any recipe and they could make it. And it would be something they would understand why they were doing each step. They would understand how to do it. And I think the neatest thing is that they all want to do it by hand. Represents kind of the best of, of best practice education for middle school students. It's, it, it's an opportunity for faculty to collaborate, to come together across disciplines, to work with colleagues they don't typically work with, to do co-planning, um, to really think about their own passions and their own feelings about education. And um, you know, it represents an opportunity for faculty to truly come together and be the creators of their own units. And insights began with a brainstorming um, opportunity in a faculty meeting. And it's just turned into something real and relevant and experiential and real world. It's exciting to be a part of that.